Hello guys, this is Firefox again. Today I bring you a team deathmatch on derail. And as I promised, I show you my new class I created. But I think you'll already know it because a lot of a lot of people use it. It's the UMP45 with Marathon Pro, Cold Blooded Pro and Ninja Pro. So I like to call it my ghost class because you can easily flank the enemy team and uh, yes, you can rush their spawn and they do not even know that you're there because one after the other enemy gets taken out and they don't know where you come from because I'm using a silencer with the UMP and my secondary is the always ready Rafika because it's one of the best secondaries I think it's like a mini M16 also with a silencer and I have stun grenades and a uh, Semtex yes and one issue I want to talk you with you about yeah, is glitches and other errors in the game and like some people abuse them because in this game there was a guy using always an elevator glitch see I see him here on the minimap but I don't see him anywhere yes and in a sec you'll see why as he shoots again I throw a Semtex up there but then oh I see he's up there and what do you think about those guys abusing the errors of the game and glitching with all the care packets glitches and so on they always find another error to abuse and why do people do that why can't they just play the game as it should be played uh, it's not that big of a deal K they it took a long time to fix all these things and as you see there still some some things to fix but why why do people abuse them just because they can I think that's quite stupid why in that's a competitive game so you can show your skill and show that you're better or not uh, or if it's so important to you or you can just yes play the game and have fun and to have fun you don't have to abuse those glitches and all these things please comment your uh, opinion in the comments I really appreciate it because I'd like to know what you think about it and yes I really like the UMP in my first prestige I you didn't use it a lot but now in my second prestige yes I in my second prestige and I'm four weeks I, wa I was on level 70 and I think I want prestige again or I create another account and then I will prestige again after think about it but yes the UMP is a very powerful gun kills within three shots I think and yes it has more recall using the silencer and for long distance it's not so easy to use uh, but as you see it works too but the clip size is a little bit small that's why I created another class where I'm using it with FMJ so I can unlock the extended max which would be quite nice I think and as you see I rush their spawn and as I'm using cold blooded and the silencer and ninja I'm like a ghost there like Casper and I'm taking this guy off and they their teammates do not even take note of it 
yeah, it's a nice play tactic, but you have to play quite stealthy, I think. And here, because of my ninja bro, I hear this guy. Lose him again, but... Um, there, on the rail, there are always so many snipers, as you see. Get taken out, but you can easily take them off, because most of the time, they will be hard scoping. So you can go quick with your ghost class, you can flank them quickly and take one, two, three, even the whole enemy team off. And yes, they will be spawning around you, but they won't know where you are because of Marathon, you already got further and they won't find you again. So if you want to have some new classes and something new in the game, try this. And yes, a headset would be very useful because of my headset. I hear this guy again. It doesn't have to be a turtle beach, what the fuck, ultra headset. I bought my headset at the electronic store around the corner in my little village. And it costs about... Hmm yeah 20 bucks or so yes, you, and I hear a lot better than with the television speakers because you won't hear the loud summing of the ventilator in the Xbox which is quite annoying and you don't have to tune all the way up the volume yeah, because my parents, yes, I still live at home. My parents don't like me gaming that loud. So it's quite useful, this headset, I think. And it makes your playstyle better. Yeah, also with the 20 bucks headset. Yes, uh, I'm sorry, the last video I uploaded, it was very laggy, and I don't know why. It was probably because I was editing, uh, rendering another video with Sony Vegas while I was recording, that could be the problem. But I think this footage now is quite smooth and nice, so you can like it. I hope you like it. And yes, I think it's some nice gameplay. And I tr nah, now try again to. You see, all I encounter always snipers. There's so many snipers in on this map, but I've taken him out easily. Yes, and that was mid range. So as you see, the gun is very powerful, and I think you ha might have seen. Oh, and the elevator guy again, take him out. I'm fly so high, and now you're dead. Oh no, I won't sing. That's stupid. A lot of the other commentators use it too. I saw some videos at X Charles channel with this setup, or similar setups, and it's very useful. Yes, and, and I don't know if you not guys already know the podcast by uh, by Hutch, Sinners, and Trump, but uh, I think you know it because it they're so popular, and yeah, it's very. A very good podcast there, due about one hour, and in the last episode they just talked about creating your own YouTube channel and so on. So it's very interesting to listen to it, so check it out, if you not already have. Mm. That sounds stupid. Oh, and it was wrong too, but doesn't matter, I think you understand what I'm trying to say. And I'm running out of ammo in both guns, so I pick up this guy's Barrett. 
but the game's already over and the final score is 25 to 6. Yes, I'm getting my last kill with my Harrier. The Payblue couldn't arrive yet because they're... Oh, now he's arrived. Oh, good job. But I hope you enjoyed it. Comment, rate and subscribe. See you next time.